As part of the time tracking and planning process for your organization, you need to define the holidays and basic working hours for your staff. Holiday schemes work together with workload schemes, but are their opposite. They define the days where there is no work expected. Holiday hours are subtracted from the required working hours, so the resulting number of days is the working capacity for each employee. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new holiday scheme that defines the holidays in a certain geography. First off, you need to have Tempo Administrator permissions, which is in the JIRA Global permissions. Now I'll go to the settings here and select Holidays under Staff. And here are two schemes that I've already created for our offices in Iceland and Japan. You need to create a holiday scheme for each geography where you have employees. To make a new one, I'll click New Holiday Scheme in the top right. And enter a name, such as Denmark Holidays. I'll enter a description that it's for our Copenhagen office, and click Save. Now I need to configure the holidays in this scheme, so I'll click this link. Fixed is used for holidays that occur on the same date each year. And I'll add a new fixed holiday, and enter New Year's Day, with the duration of one day, and the date of January 1st, and click Save. Floating is used for holidays that change dates each year. I'll add a new floating holiday, and enter Maundy Thursday. Select the date of April 17th, which includes the year, and click Save. This means that I'll need to update all floating holidays for each year's holiday scheme. I can finish filling in all the holidays later, but now I'll add members to this scheme. So I'll go back to the Holiday page. Click the Members link, and that opens the Manage Staff page. I'll delete the current filter so that I can find the staff that I want. And I'll also select Active from this list to filter for only active users. Instead of scrolling through this list, I'll filter by specific users here. In this case, Lars, and Amy, and Catherine. I'll select them all, and then click Actions in the top right. I'll move them to a holiday scheme, choose my Denmark holidays, and click Move, and then close this confirmation. To check their membership, I'll clear the users, and then filter by holiday scheme, and select Denmark holidays. And you can see those three employees here. Let's take a look at where holiday schemes matter in Tempo. In Timesheets, I can see in my work that a holiday is shown in pink and has zero hours required, so it's not considered as part of my possible working hours. And the required hours per week is only 24 compared to my usual 40 hours. In Capacity Planner, you can see how Lars, Amy, and Catherine have their holidays defined here in pink, with zero hours required. Notice that these other employees have some different pink days, and that's because they're in different holiday schemes. So it's very easy to see who's on holidays on which days. One thing to note is that holiday schemes are not meant for vacation days or personal time off. Those should be planned with internal issues that are created for that purpose, like here. So that's how holiday schemes work with workload schemes to determine the working capacity for your staff.